Welcome back everybody and we have another vintage book. This one's a really nice one from uh, Michael J. Benton again and this is The Reign of Reptiles. Beautiful book this one. I really enjoy this. Let's have a look at the back. a really nice book and let's have a look at it and no copyright attended all artwork belongs to their owners and if you've had a look I've reviewed a few of Michael J Benton's books and this is a really good book and I didn't even know this one existed until I came across it a few weeks ago and I believe this is from the 90s as well Yep, 1990. And I think he wrote who the artist was in this book. Uh, if I come across it, I'll mention the gentleman's name. Uh, where is it? Yeah, uh, it's art director. Illustrations, if you've got a few people. I'll, Cause there's some really nice illustrations. I'll just show their names there. Set of pronouncing them, illustrators. We've got Graham, Rose Vaughan, Jim Robbins, Jonas Marfly, and Sally Laundra. So, some female and male artists. And we do have some fossils as well in this, and some vintage artworks. So, let's have a look. Got a nice introduction with some vintage pictures as well and some fossils. Really nice. Ichiosaurus. It's one of the most famous, isn't it? It's funny that me being a 80s and 90s kid, how many like of Michael Benton's books that I came across and I read and I owned and just never knew how many that he made until becoming like a collector, like in the last few years. So when you pick up these things, the more and more you come across these books. So we've got some more fossils. It's, I guess the book's just mentioning about how life began and all that kind of stuff, how life evolved, which is pretty common with a lot of these books. But we just want to look at these books. We want to see how the book was constructed, the chapters, the pictures, all that stuff, and the memories as well. Because I don't make the, the books like, like this. And I've got a more modern book that I'm going to review soon. And it's just more like digitalized art. Um, the information is very vague. Especially like the, from the DK. And you get books that were written like from actually educated people. And professors and scientists and whatever. You know, you're really getting a lot of valid information for its time. And this is really nice how, this is a really great picture how, you know, like, I guess reptiles, you know, how their limbs evolved from fishes and so forth. And we know that obviously from, you know, um, paleontology and all that, but it, this is, this picture really explains it really nicely and easily so really it's a great little kind of little diagram and yeah so the book has a really good introduction going through the different time periods how reptiles evolved and they're so Close related to amphibians as well, I guess. So this 
And I guess the book explains all that as well, how they evolved and diversified and kind of branched out and so forth. Because, yeah, even here, like uh, reptiles to mammals and amphibians would have went a different path and so forth. So, really good information. So, this book is really good for teenagers and even adults and I just really enjoy this artwork you got you get like a nice landscape different creatures and, and it's common throughout the book and then it will show like their size compared to men and and what they are what their names are so I really really enjoyed how they how they done that instead of having individual all individual um animals they have them in group settings as well and and what they are so i really like the design of that because usually in most books we just get like this is this and this and the description this is this and this is the description it's nice to see them all together in the scenery and get into the primitive reptiles and when did reptiles take over was it permian i think i could be wrong but judging by these creatures they look like permian creatures and there's my favorite permian creature dimetrodon edaphosaurus and so forth yep Some really funky creatures in the Permian. Nice Cynodonts. And here you go. Look at that beautiful bit of scenery. Absolute amazing. Gorgonopsids and so forth. Mars Chops was a really freaky looking creature number four there really weird small head big body just a really bizarre creature at the time was one of the biggest land animals at the time sorry for about that back there there so let's carry on and that was the late permian Some more fossils and so forth. And the uh, Scutosaurus. Oh, let's get the page. Hovasaurus. I never knew that creature existed. That's what I love about these books. You can just find creatures and animals that you never knew that existed. Some may be accurate, some may not be, some may have changed names, but it's still interesting to see. Okay, so more. As you can see, there's a lot of skulls that I've noticed in this book, and obviously, I think when it comes to fossils, uh, the skull is probably the most important part, which gives the most information. That's what I've read anyway. Makes sense. So that's why I'm guessing it shows a lot of the skulls and the how they involve the reptiles. So we've got some dinosaurs here. And 
And what I like about this book, yeah, look, the crocodiles. We do get all aspects of reptiles, and we'll be coming to some more like marine and so forth reptiles. And this is another great picture. And what was that they got? Eden number one Dino Dontosaurus. Never heard of that one. It's a pretty big herbivore. Hmm. Again, nice artwork. Good to see a bit of blood. <laughs> Dino, Dino blood. Alright, reptiles on the air. For Don, it's a great picture. Great picture. Flying reptiles of the late Jurassic. Again, great artwork. Got even a little cricket there. Great stuff. Great stuff. Out of the few books that I've reviewed from this author, this is my favourite one. I just really like the artwork, the colours, the sceneries. And also the detail of the book. Look, it's, this is really a really great book. Like imagine if you were a teenager and you had to do an assignment or a project on reptiles, the, you know, the evolution of reptiles. This, all the information you need is here. Apart from when um, snakes and turtles and all that started to evolve more, but we can even get the origin of birds in here. Reptiles of the sea. In each chapter, we got like a kind of like other, like a, I don't know, what can you call it? Like a family tree kind of thing, how they evolved, all the different groups and genuses throughout the different periods. And I just like how the books included that as well in, in each of those chapters. So it's constructed really well, this book. A lot of fossils. Placodus. There's teeth. Eating clams. And so forth. Here we go. We've got a prehistoric turtle here. More ichthyosaurus. A pretty successful group. We've got a nice marine scene here. Marine reptiles of the late Jurassic. And look, everything in this book's not going to be 100% accurate because times have changed. It's 
spinning wall. Oh, Obviously, it's been over 20 years. I've been 30 years actually. Oh, it squids, <laughs> squirted some ink. And yeah, and that's about it. These are just some names and. It's actually God who who discovered him as well. Cope. Got some famous um paleontologists here. Owen. I gotta make a Bone Wars movie. That's great. I really like that when they were discovered and and the and the paleontologists who named them and discovered them. A lot of love went into this book, I can tell. It's written very, very well. And that's about it with this one. Here we go. It says, these are more books from Dr. Ben, Dr. Michael Benton. Let's have a look. Dinosaurs, we reviewed that one, I think. He's got a few books, hasn't he? This is a great book. I'm happy to review this. So I hope you all enjoyed this amazing book. Let me know if um, you've seen this one, borrowed it, owned it. It's, it's, yeah, it's quite amazing. And, yeah, I'm pretty happy to have it in the collection and very happy to share it with everyone on YouTube. So, thanks for watching and look after yourself, everybody.